Notion Charts allows any user to create charts and embed them into their Notion pages. And those charts are styled and generated specifically for Notion, so they weave nicely into your page's content. In this sample dashboard, you can see a variety of chart types all generated with Notion Charts. And they use the same colors you can choose for your text in Notion. They're also interactive, which means you can hover your cursor over them to reveal additional information. Now until Notion releases its API, these charts are going to pull their data dynamically from a Google Sheet. And that means that you can update the information easily and you can even automate it using Google Sheets integrations. So let's take a look at how it works. The first step is preparing your Google Sheet. Within the data range field of Notion charts, you'll find a link to some dummy data. And within that document, you can see just how to structure your data for the various chart types. So you can see here that we have sample data for line charts, bar and column charts, pie and donut charts, and geo charts, or maps. So let's use the line chart data to create a line chart that showcases consulting income by month. With your data properly structured, you want to ensure that your sheet is publicly accessible. So we're going to use Notion's API to accommodate private data. In the meantime, you'll want to avoid using Notion charts for anything sensitive. So you'll click share at the top of the document. You want to ensure that anyone with the link can view the document. And then you're going to copy your document's unique ID. And that's going to be the segment of characters between the D slash and the slash edit. And then back in Notion Charts, you'll paste that ID within the first field. And then you're going to want to grab the sheet name. And that's the name of the sheet or the tab within your data document. So in our case, that's going to be data structures. And then you want the specific data range from your document. So for us, that's going to be A3 by B15. And then you can customize your chart. So our chart type is going to be a line chart, which is the default. You can choose light mode or dark mode. And then you can format the labels of your axes. For us, we're working with dates and dollars. So we're going to choose our options accordingly. And then you can choose the colors for your chart. In our case, we have just one color. Like I said, you can choose from the same colors that you use for your text in Notion. So let's use that pink. And then the last step is to opt in to the Notion VIP newsletter, which of course I recommend. And then you'll click Make Magic. And what that's going to do, it's going to generate a unique URL for your chart, which you can copy in just a click. And then you'll go into Notion. And with within a blank text block you can paste that URL choose create embed and boom there's your chart you can resize your chart to suit your content and you'll see it respond in real time as you do so so if this last step gives you a hard time try notions desktop app instead of the web app the embed block in the web app can be a little finicky but it's reliable within the desktop app. And once your chart's in place, it's going to display properly everywhere. And that's Notion Charts. You can start crafting your own dashboards at notion.vip charts.